Now, as our subject walks from the green to the red, these are two different zones, and we have pre-programmed two different behaviors in this area. Now, it's still, it's still able to track between these two different areas, but we've identified in that red zone that we wanted a closer shot there because for whatever reason, she's near the screen and we wanna see the screen and a tighter shot on the head versus if she's pulled out and, and she's you know walking around the room, we want that a little wider. Um, so we can do that kind of scene triggering with not just the single presenter camera, but you can also trigger other cameras to switch. Now here's a scenario up here on the wall that's showing a presenter that's walking over to our whiteboard scenario. And that whiteboard is not at the best angle um, to, to show what he's writing or doing. And so we've triggered, once he gets into that zone, a different camera to uh, capture that moment. Now let's, uh, let's take a look at this use case. We call this use case single presenter plus static view. Kevin, take us away. Awesome, yeah. So like I said, we are in our training room here in Austin. So I'm gonna come over to our lovely wall of training classes that we offer out of here. And we can see Seer Vision automatically took our NC 12 by 80 we have on the far end of the room. One of the cool things about this is that camera doesn't need to be attached to the Seer Vision server. Our main camera saw it, saw I walked into this zone we set up and automatically switched away to that camera. And when I step right out of that zone, it's going to seamlessly just switch right back to the tracking camera and pick up right where it left off.